Okay. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, and I'm here with my co host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, the one and only the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Uh, I'm taking a DGL right now because I have a little, a little tummy upset. Deglycerized licorice yeah. in, in a chewable uh, wafer. Well, I'm sucking it, man. Yeah, that's I'm uh, sucking you know it up. deglycerized licorice. I believe is very good for irritable bowel syndrome patients. Yeah, it, 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 I know it helps the tummy. That's all I know. Right. Um, well, gee, we only have about one week left of uh, February 2016, the good. month of February. Good. Winter over, please. <laughs> yeah, I think the groundhog said early spring, right? He did. He lied. The big fat rat. He lied! That dirty rat. Um, you dirty rat, you. Well, yeah, groundhogs are also called woodchucks. How much wood can a woodchuck wood? I mean, chuck. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Well, if you talk to my brother in law, who is an avid hunter, Ooh. he has the. Uh, he has the mentality, the, the, I mean, the opinion of uh, uh, Asian countries. Anything that moves is food. Mm. He would uh, shoot the woodchucks, skin them, and dogs. Clean them, and he will. No, 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 no. He won't do that. Oh, but the Asians do. Certain province, a certain city, in, uh, not all Chinese do that, uh. but to me, it's uh, heartbreaking, despicable to take a an intelligent animal that looks you in the eye and bonds with you and shows love, and then uh, uh, kill it or skin it alive while it's crying and screaming and kill it. And uh, I, I mean, it's just uh, I just can't under, understand it. It's uh, like it's like torturing and murdering a, a children. I just cannot a, uh, begin to understand. It's a conundrum because even God allows certain animals for food, such as lambs and goats. And pigs. These, oh, no. Pig. These were the big lambs and goats and uh, bullocks. For that these part, were the big sacrifice animals well, in the Old Testament. Well, in that part of the world, lamb and goat is popular livestock for food chickens chickens are amazing they they can um they can uh, um they, they can be raised just about anywhere in the world really they can adapt to any environment and they're um they're very easy very inexpensive i mean you gotta get you gotta give i gotta salute the chicken They've given us. There should be. There should be a worldwide chicken holiday with parades and floats. Oh, yeah. I salute the chicken. Uh, the chicken has given us so much, and we have uh, not shown our appreciation for the chicken. And uh, no, uh, in the United States, they they receive nothing but abuse. You know, factory farms uh -huh. is like any other cor part of corporate America. Greedy, evil sociopathic yeah money is their god blah 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 it goes on and on you know but anyway we come to you from the newsletter censored research center in northeastern new jersey and mm -hmm. uh i would like to say hello greetings happy birthday and uh, happy valentine's day in combination to my near dear friend in osaka japan miho hello miho and uh i would like to send greetings to and uh, give you a blessing with my lucky Blackthorn shillelagh to Mr. The Senator Bernie Sanders in Nevada having the caucus today. Today's the 20th, right? I'm confused. Caucus. Because I believe South Carolina. Saturday, the Republicans are having a primary today. So I'm confused. So. And am I, am I, am I, so they wanna, they don't want this, this, 
so they, they have decided not to have the Republican and the Democratic primary at the same time? I'm confused. Yeah, maybe they don't want it at the same time. I believe they are having it at the same time, but I believe it's tonight. Well, the campaigning, the well, the primaries when they vote. Yes. Now, well, now when Bernie Sanders says, "I'll sh Nevada," please show up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do the caucus in Nevada on the twentieth, February twentieth. Today. That's what the the Bernie Sanders said when he was at the airport, or uh, when he just got off the plane. He says. I'll see you in such and such a s town or city in Nevada for, okay. for caucus. Then I remain confused. So the caucus will be pretty much Bernie Sanders having a rally, right? And getting up and talking. And, uh, Not I, that I know of. I, I, uh, 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 they're supposed to gather together and debate. Not, not Bernie and him, but the people. And then they vote. That's a caucus. Right. Now, now, now uh, when I watched the video of um, Bernie Sanders in Nevada uh, going before Latin Americans, mm. and um, the MSNBC uh, um, Latin American um, um, personnel, I, I, I'm not familiar with who they are, but they work for MSNBC, they were firing and interrogating, bombarding Bernie Sanders with interrogative, uh, uh, pretty hard-hitting questions, like they were trying to uh, stump him. Stump him, like like Bernie had a bright light on his face, and they were trying to get him to confess or something. You know, they were pretty aggressive. And then, uh, uh, but you know, Bernie fired back with great answers. Now, what bothered me is that heavy-set, bald-headed. Caucasian a veteran who said before asking Bernie a question he says I am an undecided veteran how the fuck can you be undecided as a veteran and even think that a corporatist like Hillary Clinton will do the right thing by the veterans yeah I mean come on you got, you got to be a real knucklehead and so uh, uh, CNN also um interviewed some students right and the one student uh, he too is not ready to vote for anybody yet what and, an and she says well what would make you uh, want to vote oh and then he started yakking about stuff pertaining to students well, well there's a lot more in this country going on than things pertaining to students my friend see this is the problem we have uh, the average American is not only uh, living in in the bubble of their own selfish uh, uh, world existence existence yeah. with their friends and relatives and no more you can't get inside that that click that bubble but they also are in cliques or lobbying groups where they fanatically seem to only care about one issue does that sound familiar with a one issue when, when Hillary Clinton accused Bernie Sanders of being a one-issue candidate, which is insane, because Bernie says at his rallies, he goes through a lot of issues. That's correct. And, and, and you know, I mean, th people have to think of the good of... People have to think more all-inclusive. The good of the country, the good of our society, the good of all the races, everybody, men, women, everybody. Right they're now. Not, they're not all-inclusive. Right now, we think, we vote for the good of the corporations and the good of the billionaires. And oh, billionaires. Well, I don't. May the Republicans That's in Congress do. do. The Republicans well, in Congress Well, Democrats do. do it, too. They voted for True. Bill Clinton. Well, there are Democrats. Uh, there was a Democrat. Who signed the 1996 uh, welfare bill. There was a Democrat the other day that uh, voted on something that a Republican would, uh, would vote on. I mean, forget about uh, the party of uh, JFK and, and, uh, FDR. and FDR and Truman. Forget about them. Yeah. You know, that's long gone. And, and, and forget about the Republicans of Teddy Roosevelt and Dwight Eisenhower, that's long gone too. Yeah. You know, so you have the two sides of the same coin. Um, you know, I mean, 
it's amazing how people I don't want to say how people think because I think many are incapable of thinking in, in America I think they try to think but their, their brain hurts too much when they do it it's, it's totally illogical it's illogical the, the, the decisions people make and how they think just defies logic it's, it's just uh, mind-boggling because they don't do their homework no, they're too lazy for to. For instance, like do somebody who will vote for down south, south, south Carolina, and today, uh, uh, will vote for someone who's religious, evangelical, or etc. Yeah, cultist. He will vote for that. What about people? Because he's a religious person. What about people? But who so is the so is the pope. But down south in South Carolina, there's only about ten percent of people are Roman Catholic. Well, first of all, the statement, you know, it's like people who um, who would believe Ted Cruz's father and, and not and be too lazy to do the research themselves and open up the Bible. What about the, the Pope uh, questioning Donald Trump's Christianity? Well, you know what? Yeah, I question it too, any Republican's Christianity, because they do not know the God of the Bible. Yeah. They don't know what's inside the Bible, yeah. so the, the Pope is right yes uh but then again what about the republicans questioning barack obama's not only christianity but his citizenship for eight years yeah you know they the republicans like to be uh judgmental and question your christianity yes they and they, do, and they don't know a damn thing about and the bible how, how do they get their christianity to be the one that people adhere to by power well, they have the blowhorn. They have the, uh, the the microphone. They they repeat, 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 and they have the power to get it across. Well, uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, especially when they win the control of the House and the Senate. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, the th now, what's going on with uh, the Supreme Court now? Uh, I, I know eight, eight. I mean, four, four. I know there's a lot of co controversy surrounding the death of Antonin Scalia. Yeah. But aside from that... But they're making him out to be a big hero. Look at that funeral, baby. Well, they made, they made Ronald he Reagan... He was an idiot. He's a jerk. He gave us Citizens United. Need I say more? What about all the... All the, um... The mean-spirited statements uh, came out of his mouth and, uh, and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the religious cultist statements. Yeah. What yeah. about the ones that came out of his mouth, which he says the Constitution says, and it doesn't? They said he was faithful. Okay. Republicans during the last debate said Antonin Scalia was faithful to the Constitution. How could you be faithful to the Constitution if you try to mix church and state constantly Anyone all the time? Anyone who says, like Ted Cruz and etc., that the Constitution is not a living document is an idiot. We have amendments well, to the Constitution. Well, then he's a fascist, then. Amendments mean it's a living document because mm. you can change it. Answer me this. It's like when Frank Gorshin used to say to Adam West, riddle me this. Riddle me this. Answer me this. Uh, doesn't the, didn't the forefathers distinctly say that the United States is not a Christian nation? Yes, 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 it doesn't mean anything. But why do they profess to be faithful to the Constitution and the Republican Party if they don't know, they don't follow what the Constitution says and they also don't follow what the Bible says? Why do they get away with lie after lie after lie after lie after lie after lie after lie? lie, after lie? There's the answer. Get away with. They can say anything they want. The media doesn't challenge them. That's correct. The media... Nobody challenges them. The mainstream media never challenges them. They don't say a word. That's correct. Right. They don't say a word. And um, Now, also, like Mr. Cru Mr. D Ted Cruz says, I'm a Christian first, an American second. Oh, yeah? You're that much of a Christian? You're that devoted of a Christian? And, I, and I, well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because his father's a lunatic. His father is a lunatic. Now, 
you're a Christian first and an American second, mm -hmm. I doubt that you're even an American because Donald Trump is going to, is, is relentlessly They've taking that to court. They've already started it. Yeah. The case has gone forward. I don't know if it's Donald Trump behind it, but somebody is behind it. I mean, you have to know the Bible before you profess to be that much of a Christian. Bingo! That's a good idea, isn't and it? And here's a something <clears throat> that you can see their fruits are not adhering to the Bible. A Christian is one who follows Jesus. Bingo! If you, if all you Republicans collectively were really that devoted of a Christian, we wouldn't have homeless people. Yes. We wouldn't have a, uh, a, uh, uh, um, uh, um, the veterans. Forty-six million people. The veterans. On food stamps? The veterans uncared for. We wouldn't have hungry children going to bed hungry. Nope. We wouldn't have the homeless, the poor. We 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 wouldn't have any of these things. Oh. The rich would um, pay their fair share in taxes oh. because of that, you know. He who gives to the rich shall surely come to want. Right, and, and uh, right, exactly. Yes. Now, it is a bad thing to give to the rich. And that, because the rich have their consolation. They're rich! So why you continue helping them? It's like when uh, people said to Jesus, what are you having dinner with the prostitute for? Yeah. He said, well... Uh, uh, the righteous don't need me. You, yeah, right, exactly. That's, you, know. you know, so... Uh, but the point is, they lie through their teeth in a very obvious way. They, uh, they arrogantly lie. And because because if you them. if you had half a brain and you did a little bit of research, you would find out yeah. just how big of a lie they uh, they start they utter they, they uh, big and how wasteful their lives are for putting themselves as counterfeit Christians. If they want to if they want to be you know. Uh, next to God or whatever, then do your homework, pal. Yeah, well, don't violate the last chapter of Revelation. Add to the book. Take away from the book. Add to the book. Take away from the book. That's the oh the first the first uh, bad thing about Republicans is they broken the fir the first and the and the probably the biggest commandment of all. Number the first commandment about uh, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Well. They're guilty of idolatry, idolatry because they worship money. So they've broken the first commandment. That's correct. Yeah, and then and then what about the Sabbath. The Sabbath is supposed to be Saturday. Saturday's the seventh day, not Sunday. Well, the, uh, in, 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 from sundown Friday till sundown Saturday. Okay. You know, oh, like not just okay. the day Saturday. It includes part of Friday. Right. So yeah. the, the 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 tradition of God the, reckons days from sundown. All right, so the, with the Jews, uh, the tradition of the Jews are correct. Sundown Friday to well, sundown it's Saturday. Saturday. It's not the tradition of the Jews. Well, they do God it. God gave it. But they do it. They still honor it. The Catholics and, and the Protestants don't do it. That's correct. They, That's they, what I'm saying. They still honor it. All right? And they are, can continue to honor it by being killed, you know, all through history because of it. And they still honor it. Okay. But it's not, an, it's not a Jewish thing. Oh, all right. Um, it was given to the 12 tribes of Israel. I mean, 12 get, tribes, not just get, Judah. Getting back to uh, Hillary. Hillary Billary. Hillary Billary. Schmillary. Schmillary. Hickory Dickory Duck. They're all. They, they're all in bed with, you name it, Monsanto, all the. I mean, the same super PACs that fund the Republicans more or less are funding Hillary's campaign. And she's for um, uh, genetically modified Oh, yeah, she foods. wants to convince us all. She's for factory farms. Yes, yes. Uh, she's for all the things that the conservatives are for the she is pro-corporate yes, yes, so yes. what kind of a democrat mm -hmm. people are making out hillary to be a progressive uh, 
she's trying to make herself out one. Yes. To which counter is, Byron Bernie's popularity. Which is a complete lie, except Hillary's uh, more obnoxious about it, you know, uh, raising her voice and her horrible, screechy voice. Now, as far as the the feminists go, not not Su people like Susan Sarandon who, who stated, I do not vote with my vagina. Uh -huh. Now, the feminists that do vote with their vagina, that are backing Hillary obsessively, they just want a woman in the White House. They want to make history. They're not thinking of the overall good of America, of society, of what's good for everyone. They have a very selfish agenda, and they are thinking, voting with their vagina. Uh, people like Susan Sarandon, who I salute for making that statement, and many others, uh, they uh, uh, have made intelligent uh, choice, uh, the intelligent choice of going with Bernie Sanders. Now, uh, because th they're they're using their brain, not their vagina. But Kay Katy Perry, Katy Perry, has sold out because she was paid thousands to get up there on stage and say, "I am campaigning for Hillary Clinton." Singer Katy Perry. Uh, who uh, uh, sang a song uh, one, at one time called I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It. Ooh. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that somebody who sang a song like that uh, is or just cares about getting the first female in the White House. So she sold out. Um, they had a picture of her with her big jugs uh, hanging out her cleavage, you know. And... Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very self any lobbying group generally has a very selfish agenda. It is never an all inclusive self interest. The devil. Yeah, well, it's never an all inclusive agenda. Now, no. before we start, there's something bothering me. Uh, I mean, no. the Reverend Bill and myself, we love animals. We're animal rights activists. We care about uh, animals. Uh, that are being exploited and, and abused. The baby dolphin died from dehydration, from what I hear. The, the, they, these people, these morons, near the uh, at a resort. Um, I, I, I did not go into depth as far as where it took place, but uh, these idiots had to pass around. This baby dolphin, everybody wanted to hold it out in the bright hot sun, passing it around so they could take pictures of it with the dolphin, of them with the dolphin, with their cell phones, and um, forgot that this uh, young, this baby dolphin uh, uh, should not dry out. Mm. He, uh, out. Exposed to the ultraviolet radiation selfishly passing the baby dolphin from one idiot from one uh, uh, um, piece of shit to another mm. photograph 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 and the baby dolphin died mm. so that's what that's what you get for being selfish you killed the baby dolphin mm. now I want to know is the people that were in charge of taking care of the animals at the resort where were they when the baby dolphin was being passed around for photograph sessions. Who took it out of the water? Who took it out? How did it get out? Uh. How did it, how was it taken from the mother? Ah. These are good questions. You had a mother there too? Well, there had to, been, there had to be a mother. It didn't just miraculously, uh, uh, you know. Uh, oh, it was a young pup. It was about. It was about well, maybe like, it was alone. It was little. It was, it was a baby dolphin. All right. Well, maybe it didn't have his mother there. Maybe it was an orphan. Yeah. An orphan. But yeah. still, there it's a dolphin. You, they mm -hmm. they get dehydrated. They're supposed to be their skin is supposed to be kept wet. Yeah. Why do you think when they wash up on the shore or a whale washes up on the shore, they throw water on it and etc. Keep it uh, hydrated. Well, in South Africa, they found a dead orca on the beach and. Uh, when they did an autopsy on the orca, they found like uh, shoes and uh, plastic. plastic. They found all kinds of yeah. 
uh, items uh, that are not food, non-food items, trash. Uh, well, the whole part of one of the ocean, one part of the Pacific Ocean, is all junk. Oh, it all came the together. Dead zone, whatever. It all came together in the Pacific. It's all yeah. like of the currents, miles yeah. and miles of of junk. Well, the good thing is they came together. So, for some reason something is like a magnet is drawing all the garbage together because, because. which means if you want to collect it it's all in one spot thank god you know but uh but that doesn't thank god oh thank god that it's in yeah, one yeah, it's yeah. in one area that you could you could collect it but the problem is uh even more serious is fukushima that the media doesn't talk yeah, about fukushima eh? go fukushima no it's it's poisoning the pacific no kidding not a word by the uh, mainstream U.S. media. Uh, anyway. Keep, keeping it quiet, baby. That's right. Um, keeping it quiet from us. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, greetings to all of my Facebook uh, group administrators collectively. And you know who you are. Uh, uh, Evelyn Pringle, keep up the great work. Progressive <laughs> warrior Evelyn Pringle of, uh, I think she's in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I know she's in Wisconsin. Uh, she has a uh, weekly show on the Progressive Radio Network, uh, Gary Knowles' uh, company. Um, keep up the great work of being a devoted progressive warrior, a real one. No, she's a real. Hey, my hotel bell died, so I brought back the slide whistle. But that. Hold! What? That is supposed to be Palin. Not just playing with it. It is supposed to be Palin. Oh, you mean like when uh, Sarah Palin, Michelle Pink. Bachman, or Bristol have an opinion. I usually play. All right. All right. We, we just won't have any bells. Except yeah. the levity bells. That was a whistle. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, let us sink our teeth into these readings. I mean, um... Consumer information. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, if I if I remember what I was gonna say, uh, consumer related. Uh, it'll it'll come up in, in during the show. How much rain does it take to produce an inch of snow? Well, uh, uh, um. um yeah, that's a good question. In the United States, on average, an inch of rain produces about 13 inches of snow. Really? I used to believe it was, for some reason, I used to believe it was uh, one inch to ten inch. One inch of rain, ten inch of snow. So, imagine a puddle that's how many inches did you say of, of, of One rain? One inch of rain. Just imagine a puddle that's an inch deep. What you're trying to tell me is... As if, if it were snow... If it was snow... It would be 13 inches. Must be a lot of air uh, mixed in with that... Well, it uh, depends on whether you got a heavy snow or a, or a light snow. There's different uh, inches. That I mean, that's all. 13 arrive. inches is over a foot of snow. That's correct. Is equal to just one inch One of inch of rain. Yeah, I just learned something new. I'm I'm totally uh, flabbergasted. Flamboozled. No, not bamboozled. Flabbergasted. I'm I'm amazed that that little bit of water can be that much snow. Right. But the rain to snow ratio in any particular snowstorm varies widely, depending on local weather conditions which include many factors. For example, one inch of rain may result in only six inches of heavy, wet snow. The kind that you hate to, to shovel. Yeah, because 